Let's return some uh, some better results now. So uh, you know we've been returning a uh, a result of uh, nothing and nothing, which uh, which is fine in some cases, but we'll uh, we'll get to a little bit more complicated. Um, this will also not return an actual error type, but uh, it will be a, a little bit uh, a little bit closer. Um, and I'll show you how that will look. So uh, we're going to make a function called check if five. So if something is five, then that will be okay. And if not, then it'll be uh, an error. So we put in a number, which is an I32. And the result is uh, we want to return the, uh, the number if it's, uh, if it's five. And uh, if not, then we are going to make a string. And the string will be the error message. So it's not an error type, but it's, uh, it's at least an error message that'll tell you what, uh, what's gone wrong. So we have the uh, match number. <clears throat> and if it's five, then it'll be something. And otherwise, it's going to be something. And uh, let's go back to uh, result to see if you remember how that works. Uh, let's see. Result. So there you go. Let's put that in there. So we have to choose OK, what to do in the case of OK, and what to do in the case of error. So we want uh, 5 will be an OK. And uh, what are we going to do? Let's, uh, let's just give the number back, because we are returning an i32. And uh, if, it's, uh, if it's anything except 5, we will return an error. And then inside goes the information. And we will say, sorry, the number wasn't 5 to string, of course, because this is a string. And you might be wondering why, you know, why not return a stir? We'll learn, uh, we'll learn that, uh, that later. Um, and then down here, let's, uh, let's make a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of numbers. So we will say, uh, result vec. We are going to put our results inside this vec and we didn't tell it the type, but, uh, it will figure it out. So for number and two, let's go up to and including seven, and we will uh, result vec dot push. And what are we going to push in? Not just the number. We are going to push in the result of check if five of the number. So this will give us either either this or this, and then. Uh, so let's see what our vector looks like now. Result vec. And that's kind of long. Let's go uh, for vector and result vec. Let's print it out. Give each one of them a line. Vector. That should look nicer. <clears throat> there you go. So it gives it a two, it gives us an error, it gives us a two, or we give it a three, it gives us an error. And then finally, when it gets a five, it sends back an okay, and then an error and an error again. And an error is uh, similar to none. If you do, you can unwrap them just like with options. And if you unwrap an error, then, uh, then the program will panic. And if you unwrap an okay, then uh, then it will be it'll be fine. It'll give back the value inside. So just to show, let's say uh, vector go, dot unwrap. Actually, this shouldn't be a vector, but whatever. I want to call it an item. Item dot unwrap, and so it says, uh, yeah, panicked at called result unwrap on an error value. So it's uh, here. It's exactly the same as uh, with an option. So here you would want to do something like uh, match, uh, let's say, actually we can just do an if statement. If item uh, is, uh, is okay, and we can print it out and unwrap it. And this will be a number, so we can do regular display printing. And we say item dot unwrap, and uh, else, um, and then we can, uh, I don't know, I guess we should have uh, 
found a way to print that out, but let's just, uh, well, I guess we can just print out the item with the uh, wrapped inside the error. And then, uh, and then it won't uh, it won't explode on us. So there you go. So uh, error, error, error. And then here we get the actual value back because we know it is okay. So it is safe to unwrap.